Real-time PCR – Sample Preparation SureFood Prep Advanced In this video, the PCR sample preparation using SureFood Prep Advanced is shown. Real-time PCR using SureFood test kits can be separated into DNA preparation, amplification and detection, and data evaluation. Sample preparation and analysis of DNA should be carried out in separate rooms. This video focuses on DNA preparation using SureFood Prep Advanced. The sample preparation is essential for accurate real-time PCR results. The prep kit contains all reagents and disposables to extract the DNA from food. I'll guide you through the seven steps of sample preparation of Protocol 1. For all steps, wear gloves. Before starting, cleaning the surfaces is recommended. A homogeneous sample is a prerequisite. Grind the sample with a blender. One hundred milligrams of homogenized sample is weighed in and transferred into a reaction tube. The second step is the DNA extraction from the sample. If the PrEP Advanced Kit is used for the first time, the reagents have to be prepared. The letter coding of the bottles facilitates handling. Start with adding 1 ml of PCR grade water to proteinase K. Then add 30 ml ethanol to the pre-wash buffer and mark the bottle. Lastly, add 42 ml ethanol to the wash buffer. All reagents are now ready to use. Now we start with a DNA extraction. Add 580 microliters lysis buffer and 20 microliters proteinase K to the sample. Then the sample is put into a thermal shaker and incubated at 65 degrees centigrade for one hour. While the sample is incubated, the tubes and filters are arranged for the next steps. Take a clear reaction tube, which is not supplied with a kit. The clear spin filter is placed into a yellow receiver tube. A yellow spin filter is placed into a yellow receiver tube. Next, take only a yellow receiver tube. Finally, use a clear reaction tube. In the next step, the supernatant is separated from the solid particles. After the incubation, centrifuge the sample at 12,000 revolutions per minute for one minute. Next, transfer the supernatant into a new reaction tube. The supernatant is centrifuged at 12,000 RPM for one minute. After the centrifugation, take a maximum of 40 microliters and transfer the liquid directly onto the clear spin filter in the yellow receiver tube.
centrifuge the yellow receiver tube with a spin filter at 12,000 RPM for one minute. In the fourth step, the DNA binds to the silica matrix of the yellow spin filter. After the centrifugation step, discard the clear spin filter. Add 250 microliters binding buffer to the filtrate in the yellow receiver tube. Mix thoroughly. Transfer the whole solution directly onto the yellow spin filter placed in the yellow receiver tube. Incubate for one minute at room temperature. Centrifuge the yellow receiver tube with the yellow spin filter at 12,000 RPM for one minute. In the fifth step, inhibitory substances are removed by three washing steps. Now the yellow spin filter containing the DNA is transferred to a new yellow receiver tube. Add 550 microliters pre-wash buffer to the spin filter. Centrifuge at 12,000 RPM for one minute. Remove the filtrate with a pipette and put the spin filter back into the receiver tube. Then add 550 microliters wash buffer to the spin filter. Again, centrifuge at 12,000 RPM for one minute. Remove the filtrate with a pipette and put the spin filter back into the receiver tube. Then add 550 microliters wash buffer to the spin filter. Centrifuge at 12,000 RPM for one minute. Remove the filtrate using a pipette and put the yellow spin filter back to the receiver tube. The sixth step is removing ethanol from the filter membrane. Centrifuge the yellow receiver tube with the yellow spin filter at 12,000 RPM for two minutes. In the last step, the purified DNA is dissolved in the illusion buffer. Transfer the needed amount of illusion buffer into a reaction tube. Then heat the illusion buffer to 65 degrees centigrade. Place the spin filter carefully into the new clear 1.5 mL receiver tube. Then add 50 microliters of the heated illusion buffer directly on the spin filter. Incubate for 3 minutes on a heating block. 
Discard the yellow reaction tube. Keep the yellow spin filter. Centrifuge the clear receiver tube with a yellow spin filter at 10,000 RPM for one minute. Discard the spin filter. The DNA in the reaction tube can be used directly for PCR or store the DNA at minus 20 degrees centigrade. Final message. The DNA is efficiently extracted using the kit in seven steps. Test kits are quality controlled. The sample preparation is identical for all allergens. Therefore, multiplex analysis is possible. Sample preparation and analysis of DNA should be carried out in separate rooms. To ensure accurate results, always carry out a double determination. Use one extraction control per run. Quantart 40 can be used as check sample. Now you've learned the basics how to extract DNA from food and feed samples. In the next video you will see how to prepare a real-time PCR with SureFood Allergen test kits. Thank you for your time.